With a lot of new space startups and next generation rockets being developed, there is a pattern that has emerged as of late. Any time a new rocket is proposed or unveiled that uses grid fins for launch and landing, you get people accusing them of stealing from SpaceX. Now, some designs very clearly are just copying SpaceX, but a lot of it is just normal for rocket development. When a concept is proven to work, it's adopted into other designs. This is why following World War II, Russian and American rockets were just clones of the V-2, followed by design iterations that were just using V-2 principles. The SpaceX Falcon 9 is itself a combination of pre-existing technology all rolled into a new rocket. It didn't actually invent return to landing, it was just the first to perfect it commercially. Which is still pretty impressive. One piece of technology I notice a lot of people have the wrong idea about is the grid fin. Many people I've noticed scrolling online incorrectly assume SpaceX developed the grid fins for use in their rockets, and everyone else is just stealing their idea. However, they did not. The grid fin was first developed in the Soviet Union in the 1950s. Since then, they've been used by many countries for many applications, most notably in bombs and missiles. The Soviet moon rocket, the N-1, used grid fins on its first stage. The Soyuz and the Chinese Shenzhou also used deployable grid fins as a part of their emergency escape system. The American MOAB uses grid fins to steer towards its targets. Grid fins are beneficial as they can be folded and induce less torque on steering mechanisms compared to planar fins in flight. They work very well at supersonic speeds and well at subsonic speeds, but perform poorly at transonic speeds. As a result, when designing a reusable rocket that requires fine control at both supersonic and subsonic speeds, while also having low profile when needed, grid fins are an obvious choice. There is only so much you can do to make your rocket look unique without sacrificing functionality. It's like how Airbus and Boeing planes look very similar. No one complains about or accuses one of copying the other, because there's only so much you can do with their design. Rockets, like airplanes, develop based on what is demonstrated to work best, so a successful rocket or airplane will spawn a new industry standard. Sure, unapologetic copying does exist, but reusable rockets with grid fins are kind of a given. You can do it with planar fins, but it's honestly just better to use grid fins. It's been shown to work, and SpaceX didn't invent the rocket, the grid fin, or vertical landing. So other vertical landing rockets with grid fins isn't stealing, it's just a creation of a new industry standard.